Hello everybody, this is Dr. Anna, your physical geology professor throughout the summer session uh, and today I would like to show you how to work with the blackboard. First of all, you're going to open your Internet Explorer and go to your blackboard site and this here is your blackboard site. When you get in first, this is what you will see. It opens up with the announcement and as you can see, it tells you that I would like to welcome you in my physical geology hybrid class at Virginia Western Community College. And um, please go to the start here button in the black back left. So it's right here. You click on it and it comes to this place. Uh, this is my picture here, but I will also put up videos so you will get to know me anyways. And we're going to meet for the labs. Um, First of all, the very important thing that I kind of want you to use Mozilla because uh, on the test you will use a lockdown browser and that works much better with Mozilla than Internet Explorer. You can download Mozilla from your, for, from your internet for free and uh, it is better and safer uh, than Internet Explorer. It is important that you try out all the menu buttons on the left here each of them and see what's uh, under them. Uh, you should become familiar with all the content areas. Click on each of them and just get um, familiar with them. It is very important that you read the syllabi. Uh, when you click on the syllabi, you will see the Virginia Western Community College course policies. So if you ever need uh, to learn about the rules of conduct or support services, te testing center policy, um, no-show or withdrawal policy, and all the stuff which critical safety information, uh, student consumer information, all of this is right here. So you can just go there and um, look at it. Uh, on the other hand, the next folder uh, holds the course syllabi and the outline. The course outline is strictly for if you transfer to another com uh, college, then you can prove that this is the stuff you have learned in, in uh, physical geology at Virginia Western. So this is the official thing. Uh, print it out, put it in your um, material, in your notebook possibly and just have it in case that somebody asks you what have you learned in his physical geology at Virginia Western and they can see if it would transfer to uh, colleges other than Virginia. And this here is the, the syllabi for uh, this class right here. And you will see the, the book. This is uh, the book you will have to have throughout the semester. Actually, this book is good for physical and historical geology. As you can see, my name is Dr. Anna Balok Sabo. Uh, I prefer being called Dr. Anna. And uh, my office is located in Anderson 211. Uh, the phone number I gave you is actually my cell phone number. That is the easiest way to get in touch with me, especially in the summer. Most of the time I'm not going to be in my office, so don't ever, don't even look up my office phone number because I'm just not there. Do use the 540-314-8407. That is my cell phone. You can text me and uh, you can just call me. There will be some times when I'm going to be out of the country, but I will tell you that on uh, the announcement. During that time, please do not call or text me because it's going to cost me a whole lot of money. So when I'm not in the, in the country, I suggest you use the, the blackboard and the discussion board. I will show it to you. Um, these are the general objectives. And you know this is a distance learning class, so we don't really have regular class meetings, uh, but you do have to make sure that you set aside enough time for your studies. Uh, there is uh, a place where you can see just about everything about the uh, course, and that is on my web page. It's easy to find because it's just my name, DrAnnabelle.com. And uh, here is my web page. And when you put DrAnnabelle.com, as you can see up here, this is the page which will come up with. And um, if you if you want to know something about me, you just click on that and you will see where am I 
from who am i and all that good stuff um uh, if you want to see your class this is where you want to go virginia western physical geology right here virginia western you click on this and it takes you to the course outline of course it still says 2013 spring i will change that very soon as you can see the course outline actually uh divided into 13 weeks but the summer is only 10 so you will have to put this 13 weeks into 10 weeks i will actually tell you when do you have to do what but each each week has a chapter and uh i gave you the the chapter num number and the title of the chapter play tectonics like for this one and um there is on the right always a chapter review which you can click on and it will bring it up for you the review is always very important because you uh when you can answer those questions you're ready to take the test also on this site you will have a bunch of really good uh websites relating to the chapter um in the middle you got the internet exercises um these internet exercises are basically your labs uh there will be a lot of times when we're not gonna meet on campus so during those times just work on your internet exercises right there so going back to uh to the blackboard side so we just done with the syllabi uh the next very important thing is the discussion board as you can see on the discussion board it starts with the introduce yourself you're almost responsible to start with that right away as soon as you start the class uh i did tell you what what am i ex what do i expect you to do uh you have to write your name who are you how old are you if you wish uh what kind of education goals you have what is your career uh why are you taking uh physical geology what is uh the problem for you with with uh online classes and you should give us some information about your family job uh where are you from where do you live hobbies just stuff about yourself so we would know something about you i also want you to put up a picture of you um and there is the instruction right here how to do that it's not very hard and if you learn here how to embed, embed an image for the discussion board forum then uh later on during your discussion board um journals you are going to be able to put nice looking pictures into your research uh, so it's, it's very important to learn it right now uh, your introduction is going to be unacceptable without pictures on it uh, this other section is really very important too because this is where you can ask any questions anytime about the class and i actually encourage you please use this place instead of um email because because most of you have questions which is interesting for every single body so i don't want to write answers to everybody separately i want you to ask class related questions right here on discussion board at the questions and answers section um there is no question you shouldn't ask you can ask anything if you have some personal issues that's when you should use the email actually every single week there will be a, a topic coming up just like you can see this first one is the geology and the in the news i will usually put up a website where you have to go and search some very interesting stuff and uh you have to write like three four paragraphs uh after you search the website or the topic find a paper which is interesting to you read that paper write the three four paragraph essay about what you come up with and um please make sure that you put your uh source into it so anybody who's interested in in your topic will be able to actually read the whole um article um so this is your uh job each week you will have a different topic which are all geology related very interesting ones actually uh if you do come up with something interesting you can always uh, add to it also so that's the discussion board uh under the discussion board on this side you have the learning units I each week uh there is a learning unit actually as i said i have 13 
uh, 14 learning unit and we only have 10 weeks so there are some uh, topics which we have to actually cover uh, two in a week but I will tell you when you should have more than just one when you open the learning unit you have the you have the objectives objectives for that unit and then you got the study materials um, from the website I always put over the review questions here so you open that up make sure that you printed it out then it's very important that you also open up the the slideshow print it out and then there is the narrated slideshow which I'm talking on so it's a good idea to listen to the narrated slideshow and take notes on the printed slideshows because during this narrations I tell you what are important on the test uh, try to explain stuff so you can put down notes basically like you are in a classroom setting listening to the instructor and take notes um, I also have great websites to study here and I have a whole lot of YouTube videos which which are helping you to understand the material better when you want done with that then um, I also will have the assignments right here and these are basically the internet exercises so you can get these either from my website the dranabolog.com or I also put them here so that's about the learning unit um, you have the assignments these are our uh, field trips you can just print them out and uh, I will tell you when you're ready to go and then you have to go on your own in the in the handout it tells you that you have two Saturday labs but now we don't because you can do these field trips on your own with your family uh, anytime throughout the semester after the midterm actually uh, here is the faculty faculty information again that's my email my phone number I told you you can text or call me uh, but I also mentioned that while I'm out of the country please do not call me but I will tell you when that's gonna happen and this is my website right there uh, and that's about it so we finished it I hope you will know what to do and how to do it